what is up internet how are you people currently at the tampa hard rock last time we was here i didn't get to play poker but me and my wife had a delicious dinner at the famous noodle bar waited in that huge huge line it was so worth it though but uh didn't get to play poker i was planning on playing poker especially after what happened to me last time i was here i threw a five dollar bill in a slot machine and i hit a mini jackpot for 150 ish i played it down to 140 and couldn't hit anymore didn't have time to cash this had to run back home my plan last time was to play poker with this so that's what we're gonna do today let's see how much we could turn our five dollar investment into activities. by the way there's just like this random huge rubber ducky for some reason <laughs> So one of our first hands, we look at ace-10 off on the big blind. Player makes it 10 and we go three-way to a flop. It checks around and we turn an ace. So it gets checked to me, I bet 10 bucks, and everyone folds, we take it down. For some reason, I didn't record the beginning of this hand. I started recording after I bet, but the guys didn't see the cards. But it's ace-jack suited. So I'm in late position. I make it $12 to go. We get one caller, so we're going to a flop of Ace, Jack, Seven, Rainbow. I make it 15 to go. Player calls, and we go to the turn, which is a three of spades. I bet 35, and he folds. We take that another small pot. In a straddled pot, I look down at King Queen offsuit and call the $5. We get a few callers and see a flop of King, Six, Seven, Rainbow. It gets checked to me, and I bet 12 bucks, and we get called by two players. So now we're going to the turn, which is a nine of diamonds. Bit of a scary card, considering that the table I'm playing at is a bit on the loose side. I'm talking $25 pre-flop raises and calls with not really the best starting hands. I definitely think checking is not the best option here, so I bet $15, and we get called again by both players. The river comes in nine of spades, and I make it $25, and both players make the fold. Now I know it looks like we got a huge stack from the hands that we played, but there's a lot of hands that just didn't catch, didn't connect, that I didn't show you guys. So we're kind of around where we started, not up a bunch, not down a bunch. Unfortunately this was so long ago so I don't have the exact numbers, but I just know that I don't have like 400 in front of me. So this hand's a doozy. I look down at Jack 9 off on the button, I make the call of $2. We go 5 ways to the flop, which comes Jack, Jack, 9. We absolutely crushed this flop. I'm just praying that somebody's got something that they want to play with, whether that be up and down straight draw, a flush draw, combination straight and flush draw. I'm hoping somebody's got something that connects with this board because I don't want to check this through. Definitely need to bet to get some money into this pot. We only have $2 invested so far. We definitely want to blow this up a bit. So it gets checked around to me. I make a small bet of $8. I don't want to check this through. We get one caller, and the turn comes a queen. The player checks, and I think about betting, but I feel like for some reason this would be a better place to trap than to place a bet and get a small call. I want him to go big on the river, and I want to go over the top on his bet. So we check it through, and the river comes another queen. Oh my goodness. So now he checks it to me. I mean, there's not really any money to be made here if he's got a queen and i bet he's gonna call or raise and then i'll lose the pot if he doesn't have a queen or a jack he's not gonna be in this hand i just end up checking it back and he flips over pocket kings everything that could have went wrong in this hand went wrong there was so much money to be made if i just made a small bet pre-flop or bet huge on the flop i think we would have gotten a call from the pocket kings but then again he slow played them, only calling the $2, and when a jack-jack board comes, the players that are only calling $2 is very likely that they could have a jack, especially considering that the blinds were in the hand. So, this gentleman played this hand absolutely perfect. 
tried the trap, didn't see the best board, so he checked it and lost the minimum at the end of the hand. Bravo, sir. I am ashamed of how I played this hand. Thank you. Well, it wasn't the greatest session. I mean, we played some decent hands. We definitely got cheated out of a decent amount of money in two of those hands. That Jack-9 versus Pocket Kings. I mean, if he'd raised pre-flop, I probably would have folded. So he had to limp in and we have to see that Jack-Jack-9 flop. And he was a good player. He didn't bet. The river came an extra queen. Any queen gives you a full house. Any jack gives you a full house. I didn't even try betting on the river. I didn't think I was going to get any value from that. That was an incredible opportunity to make some decent money from a person with a lot of chips. <laughs> but it didn't work out. Would have been awesome if I rivered a jack and it just won $777 with quad jacks for the high hand. That would have been awesome. Oh, well. Uh, we're in to the game for $5. <laughs> We're in for $5 and we're out for $198. I only bought in, what, 100 I still had 40 left over from that ticket. $198.36 we're out for. So we're not going to count the change because that's just going to make everything weird. But it's a pretty good turnoff. <laughs> that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.